Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and I've been meaning to get this video out the way a long time ago, like right when they first released. But the kid, I've been busy a little bit. I'm still moving into my new apartment. I'm just trying to get things ready. But besides all that, in today's video, we're going to be going over the Air Jordan 11 Low IEs, also known as the Air Jordan 11 Black Cement. Taking a look at the shoe box, here we have the size tag. I got a size 10.5. And on it, it says black fire red, red cement gray. And then it says what it is in French and Spanish. I don't know if French or Spanish, even though I took a French class, but it might be Spanish. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. So we're just gonna forget that. Retail $170. After shipping, it was about 220 bucks. I ended up getting these off YCMC. They ended up shipping these. It took a long time to get here, actually. And I don't know what took it so long. Once it got delivered, I didn't get the notification about it. And one day I was just in my email and I was like, yo, like, let me see where these shoes are at. Like, it's been a while and like, I haven't got any like updates on them. And I hopped on USPS, I entered the shipping number and it said the item was delivered to a agent and that was the first time I've ever received that type of information on USPS so I went to my local USPS I talked to like one of the agents there or whatever and I was like yo like my shoes said they're delivered to the agent like where's my shoes I went in there it took us a while to figure it out but I guess somebody from their job scanned it wrong and they ended up getting shipped to my dad's house. I do have them now, so that's good. And without further ado, let's get straight into this sneaker review. Here we go. First look at the shoe. I've had them for a while. I just haven't really took them out the box because I wasn't really interested in them. I actually ended up getting these for one of my homies. He was like, yo, if you can get your hands on these, like, I'll get them off you. And I was like, all right, for sure, like, I got you. You know me being the homie, you gotta look out for the homie. I feel like I just said homie like 30 times. I don't know, I'm gonna put a homie counter up right here or something, I don't know. But So, when I first saw images of this sneaker when they released, I didn't really like them. My first initial thought was that, like, because they're like IEs, I don't really like IEs, in my personal opinion. I feel like they're just like a knockoff of the 11s, but obviously it's an 11. Pretty much the only thing that's really different about this shoe from like any other 11 that's not like an IE is probably just um, the elephant, like print. I don't know, I just, I don't like that in my opinion. I'm not really a fan of that. On the Air Jordan 3s, they do hit though. But um, like I said, my first initial thought of these was, I'm not gonna get them, I don't like them, and they're a trash sneaker. But obviously, as you know, any Jordan shoe that releases, no matter what people's opinions are on the shoe, people that don't like the shoe, they're still gonna get the shoe. Taking a look at the shoe, here we have the elephant print with the black and gray, you know, just OG elephant print, going all the way around the sneaker to the upper area. Back to the inside of the shoe and to the heel. Um, looking at the heel, here we have like some mesh and that goes all the way around the shoe. That's really nice for the summer. So like basically with the mesh, um, it has like holes for the shoe where like when it's hot outside, your, your feet can have like space to breathe. So your shoe isn't just getting sweaty, soaking up all the sweat and just becoming stinky. This just makes the shoe really breathable. But going to the upper part of the sneaker here, we just have your normal leather. The quality on this, um, it feels pretty good like it feels good like it doesn't feel cheap from there we're gonna go to the top of the shoe here we have the gray tongue with the red jump man from there we have just your normal black rope laces nothing too serious nothing too flashy from there we're gonna take a look at the shoe tag here you go um, I went ahead and grabbed the 10.5 for one of my homies. This is also this is also my shoe size, but I didn't want these for personal, so I picked them up for my homie. I'm gonna be actually dropping these off to him later today. I'm actually gonna be giving him these to trade for a pair of Yeezys, a pair of Yeezy 700s. So I don't have a pair of 700s in my sneaker co collection at the moment, so that'd be really good to have. Um, it's the mouth, the mouth, mouth. I don't know how to say it, but it has like the lime green on the. Uh, on the midsole of the sneaker. I'll put a picture right here probably so you guys can see it. Yeah, I was just pretty much looking out for the homie. He said like, yo, if you get these, I'll trade you those. And he knew he knew I wanted them for a while. So, so shout out to Keegan, good looking out. I'll be dropping these off later today. Here we have just a translucent gum bottom with the red Jumpman in the middle. From there, we have just the black traction right here. This is just the normal Jordan 11 uh, bottoms. And uh, you can't forget the carbon fiber right there. Yes, sir. Now, now that I actually have these in hand and I'm like looking at them in person, I will give these probably an eight. My first initial thought of the sneaker or rate of the sneaker would probably be a six or a five. I wasn't really a fan of it, but you know, uh, picking up on the quality and just like the color scheme of it. In person, it looks a lot better. I'm gonna be putting these on feet for you guys with this Kyle Kuzma jersey. Shout out to the Lakers. This video should have been filmed a couple days before the Lakers beat the Nuggets when Kyle Kuzma hit the uh, three-pointer, but I was super busy. I was getting ready with my apartment. I just started working at Champ, so I'm definitely gonna be having a lot more sneaker reviews for you guys because I will be having that employee discount. Shout out to Champs for that. And without further ado, let's get straight to this on feet for you guys.
Nathan, you made this?